sure I could hear on stream without us hearing it through the speakers. Keep it down low. Luckily, this isn't a loud game. Okay, hi, chat. Ah! Ah! Why are we so loud? Because I discovered I really enjoy screaming and I can't a lot. So now I get to scream. What were we doing? I remember last stream I forgot to. We, we turned it off so the entire stream had no sound, so I didn't post it. I wrote a bunch of stories on my whiteboard that I can talk about. Oh, you want to you want to hear about what happened Wednesday? Uh huh. So on Wednesday, um, okay, I'm gonna pause you. I'm sorry, chat. Hold on. So I just told them the same stories twice. <laughs> but it made stream a little easier because then I didn't have to come up with new content. I could just talk about the stuff that mattered to me. No! Oh gosh! Okay. And so, I I have to tell you all about this. I don't care if stream's already heard it. No, 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 no! This is hard. Um, now imagine trying to do this as a normal age, yeah. Do oh 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 oh. Um. So on Wednesday, I told Stream that there was a t oh. gurgle. Um, I had made a post about wanting to listen to the Prime Defenders D&D roleplay, which is on Patreon. I think I told you about Just Roll With It a bunch. Um, your thing? <laughs> um, so I want to listen to one of their Patreon campaigns because it's starting to get angsty. And I made a post about, I was like, <laughs> can't wait for the next... Uh, Prime, Prime Defenders to upload because I can't wait to see everyone like panicking over William Wisp and whatever he's doing. Um. <laughs> um. And I remember also posting like I really do want to watch Prime Defenders, 
but I don't have Patreon. And so somebody sent me an anonymous ask, which is very normal on Tumblr. Yeah. Oh look, I did it. Good job. Um, why did he? No. <laughs> Okay, anyways, they sent me in an anonymous with a link that said, I saw your post about wanting to watch Prime Defenders. So here's a link to a playlist with all of the unlisted Prime Defenders. And I'm like, holy shit, okay. And I almost listened to it, but then I was like, but this is wrong. The whole point is to like get Patreon so you can listen to it and like, why? I hate this. And so I made another one where I was like, okay, I need people in the fandom to tell me I did the right thing here and delete the link in the app. <laughs> And the ask, so that like, like I was doing the right thing and not listening to all the Prime Defenders for free instead of having a Patreon. And then somebody, somebody put in the tags after logging in, it was like, you have a better moral black backbone than I do. And I'm like, I'm awful good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, cause it's, it's five bucks, okay? Five bucks for over two years of content for a month. I think that's a pretty decent price. Unlike big corporations who are like, hey, you want to watch this show? You have to have a $20 subscription. <laughs> so I'm like, there's no point in like cheating the system with this. So I didn't. Good job. Yeah, you can talk about all your stuff. Do I have to? Uh, no, 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 no. This is just for when you run out of conversations. Oh, cool. Okay. What else have I... Okay, so the D&D &D podcast. I did mention twice on last stream that it's going to have a mix of the Just Roll With It um, official music. And as soon as the Gen Loss music comes out, and then Peter Crowley, because I re-looked at, at um, his roles for... Uh, for his use on YouTube, and it's like as long as you credit him, it'll. And it, you're not getting a copyright strike if it says it's copyright. It's what it does with Bloodjoy, where it says the song. It makes a lot more sense to me. It's not a copyright strike. No. Hey, this look! This is music, the song that's in yeah. it. It belongs to someone else. Yeah. But we're not making you take it down. Yeah. Um, that type of stuff. And so, it's gonna probably be a lot of Peter Crowley because he has years of content. I have four minutes! To, which way do I go? Okay. Um, he has over four years of content, I feel like, the music-wise. Um... Sorry, I don't like speedy. I don't do speedy. I am not speed. Um, I'm excited for the gem loss. Um, don't abuse the remote, please. There we go. Ooh, I was talking about music. Oh, uh, soundtrack. Yay. Yeah, Gen Loss has happened, and Amesy was supposed to be in it. Their mental health sadly got in the way of them being able to come and join Gen Loss, which everyone is sad about, including Amesy. But Amesy's back! Yay! Yay. Um. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, there we go. Ooh. 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 
said I forgot to save the first session so for the rest of the podcast yeah, I'm putting it in your computer there's a difference yeah I guess that's true um so for the rest of the podcast life there will be this lost episode that we can never find ever like, it is just the officially forever lost episode. Where my players start to understand who they are, who their characters are, and their characters' interactions and stuff. One bit that I'm sad that we'll never get to see the light of day unless I redo it is the little construct, the corn construct. So, so I talked about how... Um... Okay, it's only there. It's fine! I hate time limits! Just don't look at it! Um... I was talking, I was trying to show you guys how technologically advanced this city was. I didn't think I did a good job of it. But there was this little corn shop that, um, that had a little, um, mini warforge, mini construct in a little corn costume. And it was dancing outside the corn circuit. And he's like, my name is Coral Cornelius Cornwall, and I'm here to introduce you to corn. And I really like that bit, and I'm sad it didn't do the live day. I weren't, I also, I was lucky, luckily enough, I was able to warn my brother that he has a chance to make his character decent enough. He's, he, like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just know there's times when a character is annoying to the point that everybody hates him. Your brother's very good at making those characters. Every single character I've ever seen him play is exactly the same. Really? Yes. They're all like that. Well, I, I, I told him, hey, you have a chance. The players already know how you're making Lawrence up. But you have a chance to make sure the viewers don't think you're crazy. Uh, I'm also having to make sure that I don't send favoritism. favoritism to um, Jonas and his character because I forget how organized Jonas is as a, as a player and his character I don't know if it's me personally but every single NPC he interacts with he's like charming them yeah because he knows that DND is story based and so he wants the story to go instead of not like the rest of your players. Yeah, but you don't get you don't get no reference. It's fine. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? I love how Mario race no 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 please no no I hate him bad stance for running why am I bouncing on him Oh, 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 okay, okay, oh, okay, no, no, stop, I'm actually ahead of him once. No, 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 I don't know if that was true. No, even if it wasn't. 
it was, it was, um... Let's go! Get your face out of here. Get your face out of here, your dumb face. <laughs> you're literally gonna do that. You're gonna say that. It's literally just Mario's face. I'm talking to him. Hey. I think I was spinning for a bit. Just turned off. Just push the button. I know, I Gem Lost, that, that was super cool. Oh, you watched Gem Lost too. I was not expecting the ending. I was laughing the entire time because I didn't watch it live, and even if I did watch it live, I still think I would laugh the entire time. I had such an odd reaction to it because normally I would be crying and bawling like, oh my gosh, you just killed someone. But it was more like, I mean, what else were we supposed to do? An all moral occasion. If you keep freaking out, you are going to die. In all moral implications, the best option in that situation was to, in fact, kill Rondu. And what sucks is I was a mobile watcher. Do you know what that means? That means we didn't even get a choice. We got to just watch. I didn't watch it live, so I didn't get a choice either. I wouldn't have chosen even if I had the chance, but you know. Um, but that's why... So, if you guys don't know, there's another podcast I really like to listen to. It's called the Magnus Archive. It's a horror podcast, but you see, there's these entities in it that kind of represent the fears, and if you haven't listened to GMA, what is wrong with you? Go listen to it. Um, unless you don't like horror, then I don't blame you. Don't. Um, and so the Shofo Media is spider aligned. Um, Shofo Media is spider aligned. Chat that could make choices is also spider aligned. The mall is spiral aligned, is a spiral domain, I, can, I feel like. And then viewers who couldn't make choices were I aligned. Which if you guys don't know, I am, me in general, am I aligned. I watch and I learn a lot and then there's times where I will implement it, but I am more I like with spider like because I don't manipulate people often. <laughs> I 
don't manipulate people often. Um. I suppose I do because they teach home lessons and kids don't want to put their face in. I'm like, I don't have time for this, just do it. I don't mean one. No, 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 that's just teaching. And I'm like, why don't you want to put your face in? Is it because it's scary or because you're afraid you're going to put bubbles in your face or because you just don't like me? Which is a. <laughs> you just don't like me? It's fair. Why do you keep retrying it? Because I want to get them all! Move on to something else and then come back to it. Okay, fine. Or do it one more time, because I need to get... Ow, oh, I can't scratch me. I can't woke me up at 5 in the morning. <laughs> and then 5.45. So I threw them outside. It takes you back to the starting screen. <laughs> It's like you failed so badly. Start from the beginning. Go wash this off because it's squeaking. Oh. If you guys don't know, we're working with acrylic yarn and metal hooks. If they get, yeah, they get sticky and then they squeak. So we're gonna try to do this in a few minutes back. Uh, of course, I don't want to talk about much because. Ready? Right, I'm gonna give you a word. Um, satin. So. Oh, satin is a type of fabric, and fabric is kind of cool. And there's a lot of types of dresses out there. Oh, if I was to have a fancy outfit, I would want to, it to be a loose kind of foresty ranger elf type of outfit. Because like, what else are you supposed to And so, like, I don't like dresses. I just don't like how they, can we please skip this? Thank you. Um, I don't like dresses at all. They make me uncomfortable. If I wear a dress, it has to be a long dress. But I like flowy outfits. I like very flowy outfits and I find them super fun. That's why if I ever got something fancy, it would probably be a jumper or like a ranger fantasy type outfit. Oh shit, that's okay, we can try again. See, like that. Um, I don't think I would want an out of satin. I like cotton very much. I like cotton very much, um, and if I could have an outfit, I would want it to be made out of cotton. So that's fun. Turn up fun. And like speak, I really like, when I was younger, I always wanted to be an elf. I think it's because no matter what gender they were, there was always this like... Oh, why? No, stop. There was always like, you can have long fancy hair, or you can have short hair, or... Uh-oh. And so, like, when I was younger, I always wanted to be an elf. And I thought it was so cool. I thought elves were so cool. And... My favorite class... No, 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 no. No, 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 no! I was so close! I was so close! I was right there, that piece of blue sparkling Mario! I was so close! Okay, I can do this again. We were talking about fancy ranger elf outfits. I like fancy long sleeves. I like flowy outfits, okay? So nothing is like terribly wrong with them. It's just dresses are my thing. Oh! No, 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 that... 
Okay, you're listening? Yeah. Okay, so on on one of Charlie's streams, he was talking about gen loss and how he was always trying to make Ranbu break. Like just break character constantly. And I find it hilarious. Um my favorite one in gen loss of um Charlie is his finale. Um is his finale character. He actually asked um someone on set to just make a 15 minute video of random colors and I find No! I did. Do you want one? Yes. You can piss one. It was actually really funny. Oh! What? I just thought of something. Okay. Well, I thought of something on the way. What did you think of? <laughs> what was that laugh for? <laughs> Dictionary! You know how I give you fun words? Words when you run out of things to talk about? Yeah. Now I got dictionaries. We got normal dictionary and thesaurus. A thesaurus? Yes, and we also got an old American sign language dictionary. I don't know how accurate it is, because I don't know when it was made. Probably really old and probably out of date. <laughs> Copyright 1994 or 2008. It's probably out of date. Well, yeah, I mean, it definitely is. Even if it was like 2018. But. I still got words in it. Okay, I did it. Like. Include. Good job. It just took me being calm. I know. I'm sorry, I have chips. They're really loud. But the other option was uh, dried refried beans. I don't know, but they're in a bag that like snacks come in. And so I always think, oh, what's in that bag? Dried refried beans? Why do we have this? What are dry? I don't know! <laughs> They're not refrigerated. Like this? I think so. Oh, it's kind of like dehydrated milk. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, it makes more sense what you were talking okay. about. I thought they were like chips and like, mm -mm. like chips of dehydrated not chips. refried beans that you can snack on. Mm -mm. I always think, oh, look, this is the bag that snacks come in. No. No. Refried beans. Wait, it says there's a little star here. Why is there a little star here? Ah, yes, Mr. Silk over there. So far, we've gotten all the stars. I'm impressed. Uh, hopefully, my players won't bring chips into our um, game this time. Cause I was like, hey, you know chips don't sound good. Let's try to keep our crunching to a minimum. And then my brother starts going up on about wanting to start a mukbang. Did you know he asked our mother? Did he actually? Yes. No. Like yesterday because he brought it up again. And and I was just kind of like, no. And luckily my mom gave him the similar answer of like the types of people who listen to muk who watch mukbangs are a lot worse than the type of people who watch <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy streams. <laughs> 
Like, I listen to ASMR. I know that. That me that's why I know that the types of people who probably watch mukbangs are not the type of people you want watching you. My ASMR is normally wholesome. Or it's mostly storytelling type of ASMR that I listen to. It's actually more fun. Because I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do it. No, it's okay. Because I can't sleep without thinking somebody is there. Do you guys know who Jay Farron is? Ah! She's a very pretty lady who's a pirate. Why? I think it's the natural red in my hair. Yeah, and then there's a blue tent outside. Oh! <laughs> I just shot that dude into the middle of nowhere. You good, dude? What dude? Oh no, I killed the toad. Oh. Goodbye, toad. <laughs> I also have a few highlights from the last time I dyed my hair, which was... When was it? I don't know. It, before yeah. my birthday, it had to be. Was it? It had, I could have sworn it was. Cause I've only cut my hair, I haven't dyed it in a while. Hang on. You remember when we went to the beach and I had to leave? Yes. That was almost an entire year ago. Yes. That's the last time I remember your hair being very, very vibrantly orange. So has it been that long since I just... Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Oh, boss battle time. But I don't know. I don't have that coming yet. <laughs> oh yeah, spider. He's so bouncy. It's not a spider, he's bouncy. Look at him go. Look, he got wings, it's not a spider. It's not a giant spider, my friend. Not a spider! He got wings! Oh, he also only has six legs. Exactly. I have magic powers beyond your comparison. Cause I control an entire world. And anyone who questions me doesn't get to play a D and D character. Please stop spinning out of the web. And I once was born in the wild. What song is that? The song I'm coming up with to stay calm while beating this boss! You know one of my favorite sayings that I've ever come up with myself? I have two. One of them is, there's no spiders in Oregon. They just don't exist here. No spiders live in Oregon. Not a true fact, by the way. And the other one is the sun is evil and trying to kill us all. The sun is a deadly laser. I have him up to, you know, 12? No. I've got him up to 12. Or in 12. Holy shit, I did that. 15? Oh. I might have been 15. I can't Do you remember dinosaur food? <laughs> yeah. I stole that from one of my friends in middle school. That was before I was gluten free and I learned that salad was actually pretty good. Hmm. About. Were you there for the dinosaur hair? And someone yes. has the dragon ma or dragon hair? Dragon hair. Yes, but I still had short hair. <laughs> Oh, this is a really fun galaxy to play. It looks like golf. It is. Oh. Except for you're the golf ball. 
it's not as fun as you think. Yes, it is. I've decided. Guys, I need to go to the library. <laughs> it's been too long. I need to return things. It's only like three blocks away. I know! Yes. See, no, don't, I don't, I know how to play this game! Oh, that's why I hate this game. Okay, come on, come on. I thought you were gonna get hit across the stage like you were the ball, no. not run on a ball. Yeah. That's boring. Yeah, it's also stressful as heck because it relies on motion control. If you didn't know, the motion control on the Wii Bad. is old Bad. and the basic design of the game. If you roll too fast, you die. Whee. If you bounce on anything, you die. If you overcorrect, you die. I feel like this is like on Rainbow Road. <laughs> where you can't speed up or else you'll fall off. Yeah, basically. Like if you, like when I do it, if I get any speed power-ups, I just won't use them. Until I know there's a railing there. That took me years to do as a child. And I did it first try. Muscle memory. No! Well, kind of from knowing how to how the weed will react. Mm. Hopefully I can keep my players from eating donuts. Sorry. I'm gonna try to feed them to everyone before. Donuts are less gross than. Yeah. Unless your brother, uh, it's gonna be your brother who does this, goes up to the mic and just eats it right into the mic. It'll be wet and squishy. The way that my brother acts around a mic is really weird to me because, like, I understand acting, acting when it comes to a, a mic being around. It's just simple. Like, put your face as close as you can to it to see what else you can get, what you can get away with. I don't, I don't know if I, why are you looking at me? Okay, but I don't do it that often. Because I've trained you out of it. I also know it sounds absolutely terrible, and if I want to actually turn anything into editable content. Yes. Editable content. <laughs> Then I'm gonna have to make sure. Oh, I forgot that those dumb dumb idiots. Oh, it's dangerous. Boo hoo. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Is it? Oh, why are we doing this? I hate this. What are you doing? Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> why? I don't know why. I panic. I panic sing. Oh my gosh, I didn't die. <laughs> wow. Let's go. <gasps> I have a good story. Okay, so. I broke the ladder. <clears throat> Not yet. <laughs> so, um, there's, so I have a level two class which has four kids in it. And there's a pair of siblings and then a pair of different siblings. And so there's like this family and this family. And we're gonna say the brunette family and the blonde family because <laughs> they have brunette hair, at least you have blonde hair. Well, the blonde Anyways, so I give all my kids high fives. 
because I like high fives and I want to high five. <laughs> but also to tell them, hey, you're doing a really good job, high five. Um, yeah, I forget that this will have to people are scary. Yes. Therefore, high fives. Anyways, um, so the blonde family, you know, they like high five like King Stewart. It's like, I don't know why you want me to touch you, but okay. The brunette family, though, they do it like me and Jonas do it, where it's like, hit as hard as you can to get a good high five. I used to be the kid who hit as hard as you could to get a good high five, and then everyone would complain that I was hitting too hard. Well, it's not that they're like hitting as hard as they can, it's more so just like a good solid high five. I know. You were, wait, were you labeled the weird kid or the quiet kid? What, quiet kid? Yeah, I figured. Because I was thinking about it earlier because a lot of neurodivergent people think about are they, they're normally gonna be labeled the weird kid or the quiet kid. And I was labeled the weird kid. Nobody straight up looked at me and said, you're the weird kid. You weren't the quiet one. No. And I knew I was the weird kid because I literally had to come to accept the fact that, oh, weird isn't wrong. I'm going to be weird in my own special way. You know what that sounds like? Neurodiversity! Ooh, ow. Aww. You want to get what are you? They're helping. They're so cute! I know! Oh my gosh, I love them! Oh my gosh, I love them! They so don't much. even take your life away. They just want to play bumper boats! Bumper cars! Bumper boats. <laughs> those ones were not They're not this fun. No, they're blue. Do you know what those ones remind me of? Star mm. something in Star Wars. Oh, with the Ewok planet. Okay. Are those the fluffy ones? Yeah. Look like the tiny bears? Yeah, on the Ewok planet, they're stormtroopers and they're dressed in forest gear, and that's what this looks like. I thought Alexander Hamilton stuck in my head, and I'm really mad. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, no. You got the Eliza part stuck in my head. I'm not gonna ask. I remember when we played this, we kind of failed, wasn't it? We just we weren't good at it. Oh, that's why they put those things on the side, to keep them hiding on the side. Oh, okay, now, 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 like tying your shoes. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> I, what, like, this is harder for me to do on my own, this type of content, because I always feel like I have to fill the silence with actually entertaining conversation. But when I'm with you, I literally just ramble. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! You want me to do my conversations? Maybe, but this is entertaining. Ah! is happening and I'm so it has happened it has happened and I have merch but it hasn't come in yet for the last couple of days I know it's not gonna be in yet but I'm like has the ma has the mail come in and she's like yeah and I'm like okay is my package on there and she's like I don't think so because she sometimes check the mail I checked the mail this morning and all there was was a stupid bill shop which you should go look at because I'm sad and nobody's bought anything from me and I'm sad. Don't be sad because sad backwards is gas. That's not good. I learned that in middle school. He's a good one. <laughs> I learned it from Jonas who learned it from you. I think I learned it from either the internet. I 
think I learned it from a Tumblr post. From yep. a Cam Seymour post. Cause I was I was in Tumblr culture before I actually had Tumblr because of PM Seymour. Okay. It's why I was able to go into Tumblr without going in completely blind. Ooh, come. Ooh. Yeah. So today is Friday, which means in the next couple of days there should be a Prime Defenders episode coming up, and I'm excited to see half of the fandom fall apart. <laughs> I'm so nosy. You have no idea. I don't mean to be nosy, but I really, really am, and I really want to know everything at all times, and I can't because that's an invasion of privacy. It's not very nice. I'm pretty sure you're eye aligned. That is very eye aligned. I want to know what you're doing and what you're thinking and what happens in your life, even if you want it to stay private. That makes me want to know more, even though I can't because it's private for a reason and it makes me feel bad that I want to know, but I do. And whenever my parents get a package, I have to wait for them to come home to, for them to open it. But I just want to open it because I want to know what's in there. I don't care what's in there. I just need to know what's in the package. It's not for me. I don't care what's in there. But I want to know. You know what that reminds me of? What? Literally every time the content creator exhibits neurodivergent traits, but I go, it's wrong to diagnose content creators! So don't do it! Exactly! And so I don't do it, but at the same time, I'm like, listen! I want to I, know! Yeah! But at the same time, I'm pretty sure you're really good at keeping your personal life private, and I think that's really cool. Yeah. There are several content creators who do that, that I'm just like, how? How are you able to keep this amount of stuff from the internet? Anyways. Mm -hmm. If anyone wants to know, Marion Carton Blackwood is my top kin in the Magnus Archives, and then it's Jonathan Sims. Jonathan Sims is autistic. So is Gillian Tidestrider. I wanna get a PC. I don't know how, or why, or how, or how. It took a what? No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> like, I don't. Like. What PC do you get? Why are there so many options? Should I build my own? I don't know how to build my own. I'm gonna break it if I build my own. What if I do build my own? It's less expensive. I don't know. I think you need to do research. I have done research and it's not helpful and there's so many options and I don't know anything. Oh, I'm like, how am I supposed to get more coins? I don't have more coins. So somebody on TikTok the other day asked, what what do you call, like, what would you call a rom-com, but it's a QPR? Like, it's not a rom-com, but it's that type of content? And I was like, yeah. Because anything, nothing sounds right. And so it's mostly just a queer platonic, a queer platonic, rom, not queer platonic, comedy, punch. Tom stands for romance comedy, guys. Yeah, I, no, again, Aeroise Moon. <laughs> What do you mean rom-com doesn't stand for this one type of content? Do you mean it actually stands for it something? It has words that it actually means. Ooh! <laughs> I know I don't have to kill all the dogs, but I want to kill all the dogs. Good. That sounds bad out of context. I'm gonna put that in the <laughs> <laughs> comments. I think I added one in from my own life the other day. If there's a new one for me that you don't like, I said it out loud because... Ooh. These... What? Hold on. I don't have to... No, you said I know. 
now I don't have to kill all the dogs. But I want to kill all the dogs. No, I missed! I missed! But I've never been on swim team, so I don't know any. However, I did do track, so I know a lot of track exercises. Which, if you just put them into, like I only did sprinting for track. He's really good at sprint swimming instead of distance swimming. Um, so we did something very hard. Anyways, and then I had to do it the next day to make sure I could do it and I wasn't just being accidentally very mean to this poor kid. Um, but what I made him do was he did, in track it was called a pyramid, but apparently in swimming it's called a build-up because I asked a swim coach. Um, he did a 50 of freestyle, 50 yards, and then 100 yards of backstroke, and then 150 yards of breaststroke, and then 100 yards of backstroke, and then another 50 yards of freestyle. Um, that's very physically taxing. When I did that, I was very tired afterwards and like you can rest in between them but only like on the in-betweens not like you do a full 50 of freestyle rest full 100 rest full 150 rest and then keep going like that um but then on the way back he was on his last 100 of backstroke. Uh, he got a cramp in one of his legs, 
which in swimming is not fun because you can't move when you get a cramp. So I like swim over to him and I'm like, I don't know how to fix cramps. You're out of luck for me. Uh, good luck, you know, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and then he's like, it's fine. I still got one good leg. And I'm like, okay, don't injure yourself. He kept going. And then he got back um, and was resting to do another freestyle, the 50th, last 50 of freestyle. He looked very much in pain. I was like, did you lose your other leg too? He got a cramp in both of his legs. He was, and so I was like, you can just stop if you want. And I was like, no, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, dude. <laughs> So I kept going, cramps in both legs for the last 50 of freestyle. He made it, he didn't die. Um, and then we have like three minutes of class left. I was like, okay, you don't have to do this, but I'm kind of curious. Can you do freestyle without kicking at all? Which is very taxing for your upper body. Um, I can because I have a oh, large amount of oblique muscles, which are the muscles right here. Whenever I run, I twist, which you're not really supposed to do, but that's okay. Um, so I can swim without kicking, and I can swim with my head up without kicking, which is even harder because your feet want to sink, and if you're not kicking, they'll sink faster. Uh, anyways, he got about maybe 10 yards and then flipped over and started swimming elementary back, so it's quite entertaining for me. That's all. What else? Oh, and then the very next day I did it after all of my classes were over. I went and swam laps and did the 50, 100, 150, 100, 150. It was really hard and I should have used my legs more. Um, but I did it. And so my arms kind of hurt today. But not a lot, which is nice. Yep. <coughs> What is the point of this? I'm not sure, but I hate it and I have to finish it. Because if I don't, I will scream at it. You can scream. I like screaming. I have a cool story about screaming. It's not cool. It's just a story in general. Um, so I went to. It takes ten seconds for bombs to explode in this game. Should I say the name of it? It's a park. It's really far away. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Let's go! Woo! Eh, I won't say it. So there's this park, like, state park, national park, along those lines. It's not one of those. Is, Is it? it the one we used to go to? Uh-uh. No, it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's... It has a creek that goes through it. I put the throat soda into that so hard and my head hurts now. Like my actual yeah. brain got so sucked into that. Yeah. Other stupid thing, whatever. It's like multiple hours from here. It's Eagle Fern Park? I just call it Eagle Creek, because that's the creek that runs through the whole entire park. Um, I went there on Monday on Memorial Day with my family, plus my grandparents, who are my family, but they don't live with us. So I guess extended family, but I have a lot more extended family than just them. Anyways, um, so there were six of us there. Um, the water is really cold because it's spring water so it's freezing the entire time. Ooh. I'm not actually freezing. It's quite cold though. But well, we brought floaties. <gasps> floaties? Yeah, they're like good floaties. Oh, no. um, and so one of them, no. Yes. One of them does not have a hole in the bottom. Like it has like a piece of plastic in the hole so you don't actually get all that wet when you're in that one 
but it's a giant unicorn, so the head is always in the way. And then, um, there's also one just flat round one that does have a hole in the bottom, but you can move really well with it. And then there's one with a mermaid tail, but that one's deflating, so we didn't use that one. Or maybe we tried. I don't know. I don't remember if anybody used it. Then there's also, we also have a inflatable raft. I don't know where it came from, but we have it, so that's pretty cool. Inflatable raft. I feel like, like, you know those beds that are inflatable? Yeah. I Air just, mattress? Yeah, I just feel like people take air mattresses and put them in the water and boom, inflatable raft. Yeah, pretty much. Um, let's see. So I was in, me and Jenna switched. I don't think I got on the raft. I might have. I don't remember. Ow. Oh, there's also crawdads in there, so you have to wear shoes. Because they freak me out. My dad likes to catch them, and then he puts them back. But they're a little bit terrifying. Summer we might and they go, and they go backwards when you poke their face. Because they don't like you. This summer we might do a stream, a stream stream. <gasps> yes. it's, in, it's like less than a 15 minute walk from my house. Through the woods, so. Uh. <laughs> what? Those are bombs. Oh. It's like, what are you doing? Making funny noises, obviously. See, but then the best thing about Eagle Creek is you're in the middle of nowhere. You can scream as much as you want. I love screaming. I want to scream more. However, I live in a neighborhood with my family. That's not a great idea. So I want to move to the kind of middle of nowhere. Not your middle of nowhere, but like half. Half the world. Listen, your rent would be split with me for like 500 bucks. Well, yes, I do want to move in and with I, you. And I probably drive you places. That'd be nice, because I can't drive. I should not. Anyways, um... <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to do that yet. No. <laughs> I don't think you can get up there. I still wanted to try. Anyways, so I want to move out to the middle of nowhere-ish and just scream. Because it's fun. Yeah, my middle of nowhere is 45 minutes to get to the office. Yeah, and then plus an, so it'd be an hour to get to where I work. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. It's it's about an hour to get to your airport. No, that was from my. Ow! Did you try Look at it? <laughs> what is that toothless? I don't know. We're asking him if we can show you. It is toothless. <laughs> And this was his reference picture. <laughs> it's a good reference picture. That's a great reference picture. <laughs> I can't pick it up! <laughs> it wants to get you. Yeah. Oh, it did! I'm tr I need to pick it up somehow, but I don't know how! Just let it follow you and then explode it where you need to explode it. You gotta let it follow you from the bridge. There's no bridge. That bridge. What bridge? That one where you're, that. That's not a bridge. It's not? No, that's just the layer under it. Oh. I'm gonna die anyways. Again. 
and I don't know how to get the baboons. Up. Ah. Pick them up before they start walking. Do you want to scream? Can I scream? I'm gonna scream. Ah! I like screaming. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Hey, it's June. I made, I made a Tumblr post that was like, my Pride Month doesn't start until, um, June 2nd because Technoblade's birthday is June 1st. I watched a sad video by Techno Dad last night. It made me cry. You watched it too? It made me cry. Be, I, I didn't even watch Techno Blade and it made me cry. I had actual tears. I did too! It, it was so sad. I'm not the only one who... It's like, uh, he did Uncle Iroh, right? Yes. Okay, good. Good. I was like, th this feels like the, this, the Bossing Say episode. Yes. And that, it made it even sadder. Yes. It made it even sad because he took a sad scene and then he made it relevant to my life. I don't know what I'm supposed to do! There's something funny about the calendar that's up there that the stream can't see. But I showed them already. I don't know if you saw it. On June 1st on my calendar. It specifies that it's Pride Month, and it's really funny to me for some reason. Let's see. Oh, I started embroidering, and I should have taken a picture of it, but I didn't. But I have a picture of the reference picture that I'm using. AKA, I don't want to buy it on Etsy, so I'm just going to copy it. Um, oh yeah, what did you buy on Etsy the other day? I hope it comes soon because they're really cute and you'll see tomorrow. Okay. But I'm excited and I wrote up there when I bought. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. But they're little shooting star. Look. Those are super cute. Mine looks a whole lot less cute than that and I'm going to redo the, you know. I am this close to getting another white t-shirt and embroidering the Charlie Slime Skull shirt so I can just cosplay <gasps> Charlie Slime Skull. I, that would be fun to embroider. I am this, I've already embroidered hearts before. Ugh. I am ah! this close to adding gooping and gunking to my neo pronoun list. Not that I have a list yet, but if I did, gooping and gunking, gunk, goopy guy, all of those would be on it. Sorry, I am looking up something to figure out what is going on here. Free the Luma, not that I one. I need something to put in my mouth. Instead of biting my poor phone. that one. Cannons? Whoa. Ah. Where are the things that I can bite? Head down the warp pipe, the spawner, pick up a ba bomb. Ba -om. Be careful, these ba -oms move when they see Mario. Yeah, you're so useful! I feel like a toddler. With teething issues. No, you just like the texture of mouth stuff. No, I need to feel the pressure on my teeth. I want... I, once I actually have money... When, Sure, when I have money. Um, I want to um, just buy a bunch of dice. I want, I want, I love resin dice. I love the way that resin dice feel. 
I considered buying it. Do I pick them up? Pick up, pick you up. I'm gonna pick you up, you dumbass. No. How do I pick you up? Well, your talk. Um, purple. No, my hair's purple. Oh, it faded. Um, let's see. Havoc, aka chaos. What's chaotic? Everything. I'm chaotic. My classes are really chaotic. Oh, I meant to tell him the other day. So, there's this other teacher um, who has a lot more experience than me in, like, teaching swim. Um, but he's more used to teaching swim teams, so he has a lot different teaching style than I do. It's more just, you know, here's what we're doing, here's how to do it, one, two, three, go. However, the way I do it is... Um, I don't know what I'm doing ever, and so I just kind of go, and go with the flow. And so, um, there's this one kid in my level 4 class who had the, like, strategic teacher last time, and he turned and looked at me and said, You're, this class is a whole lot different than my last class. Why? Because I had this guy for my teacher last time, I'm like, yes. I teach very differently from him, by a lot. Anyways, it was really interesting. It's like it's glitching out. It's like you can't pick him up. Well then, pause, save, go back. So somebody on Tumblr just said they made their friend gay for Gillian, and that's a good thing. Everyone should be gay for Gillian. I don't care about your definition. I don't care if you like take that in like a like. I'm happy about Gillian, or you're straight up gay. I want Gillian to be Arrowy so badly, but at the same time, because he's on an autistic coded er ace character, I'm not gonna sit there and go, he has to be Arrow too, because there's enough Arrow ace autistic characters out there. And I know it's a podcast, and I know it's probably never gonna be fully canonized that he's autistic, because his his player is Charlie Slimesicle. I don't you think even Broad was fully said was ADHD. So I mean... But I want him to be Arrow Ace because I relate to Gillian so much and it would just be that much nicer if he had just that extra thing about him, you know? I love my Arrow Ace character so badly. I also really like Jay and Lizzie. You with me when I tried to stick my phone down my dress, but it was a bad idea. When was that? I don't know what you are talking about, my friend. I didn't have pockets, so I have to put my phone in my dress. Is that when we were getting it? It was. Yeah. 
down and get up there. They said so you went over it, didn't you? Oh, you, did you bounce off one of the balls? No, because that would have electrocuted. There you go. I don't think that actually happened. Yes, I Or if it was just there to distract me. Why did you throw something at me? <laughs> I missed. I thought that was your chewy toy. Because, yes, it is like looking at a very pretty picture. But it's more like, you know how you can be walking in the store and there's a bowl and you go like, oh, that's a, that's a pretty bowl. But then there's a time where you're like, that's a really pretty bowl. Okay. I don't... Is there six types of people that just make me go... Ah! Exactly. And most of them happen to be connected to just roll with it. Including Jay Farron. She's so pretty. Most of the female pirates. Most of the girls in Just Roll 
with it are so pretty. Help. No. Wait, what? My confusion is... What is there a no to? You said help. No. I don't know what you want me to help you. I don't know either. Make people less pretty? No, I like people. Uh, you like looking at people. Dude, people watching always stresses me out because I remember that other people exist no. and it's not no. just my secluded self. No. Yeah. I thought you were going to say you, you remember that people do people watching back and that's not okay. I don't care if they're actual. Well, I do care if they're actual. I, I, anyways. It's more, it, no, it's just like, oh, wait, there's people. I forget the whole, like, you know that the world doesn't revolve around you. Mm -hmm. But there's times where, like, your meeting of the world doesn't revolve around you goes from your, like, friend circle to the entire world for a short second, and it overwhelms you, and then you go, oh, yeah, there's a lot of more people than I don't even know about. It. And that's why I turn off my brain. That's why I pretend that fictional characters are real. across the pool, where you just pretend you're a frog and hop across the pool, um, and I can say boing or ribbit or whatever I want, and they'll just repeat it with me and won't get annoyed at me for repeating things too many times. I'll just go boing, 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 all the way across the pool. It's great. something like have have Allie name five famous people I'll name five birds I'll name a hundred birds nobody wants your birds Brennan please and I really want to do that sound with you because it's a cool to me it just really sounds like when I'm on stream and I'm just like <laughs> you name five blanks and I'll name five twitch streamers I'll name a hundred twitch streamers I don't actually and then, it, like, whenever I'm like, I can't, I can't lose, I can't talk about content creators in this part of the session. Because what else would I talk about? Shortcut! Please, please, please. I'm 
like hearing different things happen in my head and I just went, what? Ah! I beat that dude up. My foot. No, not again. Oh, I was gonna let her. Um. Oh no, I wanted to look at the other box. Anywho, if you were an elephant. <laughs> Washing my hands and then leaving it sitting in the sun. Oh. Yeah, so it works. Oh, it says oodles. Oodles and noodles. Oodles and noodles. Wait, what's a. a, a Thesaurus? No. I know what a thesaurus is. I don't care that I'm saying it wrong. I will say it wrong for the rest of my life. Okay. What was your question? I don't know. <laughs> 
Did you know there was some misinformation about Angry Girls around on TikTok the other day? Oh. Yeah, so because they had to take a break, somebody posted like this sad clip on TikTok. Just happy that they're back. And in the captions, they were like, just so you know, Angie broke up with Gucky. And everyone was like, did they? And then, like, two TikToks, I went and watched the VOD, and nothing said anything. And then two TikToks later, Amesie's in the comment of one. And you know how sometimes on TikTok there's that little search thing that pops up? Okay. Well, it was like, Amesie and Gucky broke up. And, like, in the comments, things was like, we did not break up. <laughs> and I find it hilarious. And I'm like, this is your basic TikTok misinformation. <laughs> okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. Tiddly Winks! What is the that? definition? A game in which little discs are snapped into a cup by pressing their edges with a larger disc. Oh, it's the... It's it's round and you put a disc in there and then you squish it and it shoots the disc. That's a Tiddly Wink? Apparently, I think what I'm thinking of is a dumb toy in McDonald's things. Um, oh, ow, fire, fire, fire. But I jumped over that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah! In the end. Oh. oh wait, no, that's Disney. You've been singing it off too, and you're gonna get copyright struck. Stroked? <laughs> yeah, it's past tense of strike! No. Yes it is! It's not, it's a different word. <laughs> <laughs> What's the past? Oh! I would like you. Is it striked? Okay. Okay. Look it up in the dictionary. Oh! You can do that. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Dictionary, you're playing a game. Okay, there are five, six, seven. Seven definitions of stroke. Okay. None of them are the same as strike. A blow of an axe or whip, etc. Yeah, that's what it's, that's like a blow. Um, a sudden action or event, like a stroke of luck. An interruption of normal blood flow to the brain as from hemorrhage. hemorrhage blood clot, etc., causing paralysis, etc. A medical stroke. Food stroke. Um, a single strong effort. Owie! The sound of striking, such as a clock. Um, a single movement with a tool or a racket, whatever. Uh, any of the series of repeated motions made in rowing or swimming. Stroking, to draw one's hand, a tool, etc., gently over the surface of, and then the sentence just ends. Is it on the next page? Nope. Gently over the surface of. Copyright strike is an organized refusal, not a hit. 
Wait, you're saying that there's actual definitions of copyright right? Mm, yeah. Oh. I don't know where the actual definition That's kinda cool. Hey, what's the definition of goop? Hold on, we haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay, sorry. To remove from a list or record. How do you spell a velvet? It's slang. Any sticky, semi liquid substance. It does not have a thesaurus on it. Aww. I know. I'm just a goopy, goopy little guy. You want me to look oh. up gunk? I want to be a goop. No, it's gonna be a gross. I want to look up gunk. I want to be a goopy goop. Yes, Bowser, I do think I can stop you. Go. No. Go. Slang. Any viscous or thick, messy substance. Like you! Yes. Wait, what's the. Hold, hold the phone. Ooh. Holding the phone. No. Sticky, semi liquid versus. Viscous or thick, messy substance. You know Ooblek? Yes. Ooblek is goop. Okay. Or glue. Glue is goop. Okay, I thought he's dumb. Uh. You know thick water? What? Or like corn syrup or molasses. Honey? No. Honey's too liquidy. More, more unmoving. really hard on it and it doesn't move and it gets hard yes that's gunk yeah. you know oobleck when you don't do anything to it and it just kind of sits there and is liquidy woo, woo. that's yeah. goop oh so oobleck is both goop and gunk yes seriously i know you guys could literally just watch the slimes go by but um did you know that his his costume is a mix of cornstarch glue and one other thing, and it had an end, end endothermic reaction. reaction. So he ended up being very, very cold the entire time. Because it steals your heat. And I think that's super cool. Not that he got cold, but big science words were used. Let's look up the definition of endothermic, because I can tell you that this is much more fun. This is fun. I should bring the dictionary more well, often. <laughs> I have epoxy resin. You could make dice. I could, but I don't have the dice. Hold them like $19 yes. on Amazon. I That's not too bad. Why I do also I also don't know how to life? use resin. Oh, you have no more lives. So um, Exothermic. You could Euphony. There are a lot of even just TikToks on the internet. Yeah, no, I know how to do it. I can't do it correctly. It doesn't cure. Oh. You don't have a space where I can endo exothermic. 
Why does it have exothermic, not endothermic? Did I spell it wrong? I probably spelled it wrong. Designating or of a chemical change in which heat is liberated. That's a stupid, stupid, stupid definition. Basically, exothermic is when you mix two things together and it gets hot. Because I don't remember why. That's sad. We have the science nerd and the human nerd. Together we cannot survive. Together we lose most of our knowledge. We not because we lose our brain cells. I was right. Did you know the past tense of sleep? It sleeps with an ED. It slept. Nope, it's not. I don't believe you. Dictionary. Where did you did you know that mountain goats are actually goats? They're actually more closely related to alpacas. That makes sense. It makes me very upset because I have a goat farmer. Why do I keep this? Place? Mm -hmm. Slept. Mm -hmm. I I feel like I've seen the word past tense slept. Well, you have. It's just kind of wrong. That's no, it's not. It's not. It's not. I'm not wrong. And I refuse to be. I think you're insane. Huh. Sparkly little dude, you're not helping me right now. I only have a light, one life to do this, and it's kind of hard. What? The tea up there. Wait, that is right. Wait, hold on. Yeah, slap. No, it landed right on top of me, that piece of shit! Sorry! What are you doing? Maybe there's a different word. There's some word. More of D&D, and while I'm excited about it, I also am having to, like, make sure that I'm not accidentally copying the start of a different campaign. Because I, I originally was going to send them down to find a cult, and then I remembered, oh hey, you remember that campaign that you listened to a long, long time ago? Well guess what, that's how they started off their campaign. And so now I'm figuring out how to make it still fit in with what I've had the players do so far without it being an exact copy of somebody else's campaign. Which, I mean, isn't the end of the world, like, trying to figure it out? I asked someone who was speaking to in Spanish how to say uh, bell pepper in Spanish. What the hell did they say? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't know say? No, that's I don't know. I did know. I don't even know. Um, abduction aliens. I like my Kalva. He's my favorite. I need to. I need to read my haiku books because he's in the most. He's in the one I'm reading. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Here we go. Here we go. No. 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 Kawa is sassy. And he's a Myanmar. Oh. I think I said that very wrong. You know, maybe I should just I should just start naming my characters after random dictionary words. Execute! Execute! Oh dude, we added Hamless into the campaign. Right angle. And he's I don't know how to play Hamless. Berg. How do you, how do you do Hamless older? Running a cafe. Successfully. I don't know. I wasn't there for the Hamless campaign. Ooh, 
Ooze! 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 What's up? We're going to the kitchen. The kitchen? Yeah. Is that the kitchen? Uh-huh. Hairless. Why is there a kitchen? Teleprocessing! And a teleprompter. We need to go use the bed. I don't want to. Cantaloupe. 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 I don't like cantaloupe. But that's your word. Oh, but I don't like cantaloupe. It's a different one. Um. Fish. Rainbow fish. Like the book. Rainbow fish and gayish. I saw a post on Tumblr. Yes, it was on Tumblr. That a robot fish. They introduced it to a real colony, and the colony just accepted it as its own, and it became the leader of the colony. That is interesting. Oh, jeez. This does not look like fun. Yes. Okay, this is fine. I don't explain it to me, please. I just want to jump into it. I'm gonna die in a pool of sadness. Hang on. Okay, we're looking on Tumblr. Maybe Tumblr will have something. Uh, 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 uh. You guys want to hear about my Gillian headcanon that he has a hyperfixation slash special interest about sea shanties? because when he first heard of sea shanty, he didn't understand it because it was from a ghost. Um, where am I supposed to go here? Um, so when he was doing it, he didn't, he didn't understand sea shanties. But then he learned what sea shanties actually were, and he thought they were super cool. Hey, okay, before you ride in the bubble, when you truly feel bored, bend your ear, you can move around in the bubble by holding A down A. If you go too far one side, blow on the other side. Cool, thank you. Um, he really likes sea shanties. And I take that to heart. Like, he just listened to sea shanties one day, and so every time they're at a port that he hasn't done research in yet, he goes and researches sea shanties at like the library or somewhere else, you know? And I think that's super cool. I like Gillian. He, he. No, I'm gonna die! I really like Gillian and I could talk about him a lot. Um. Oh. But yeah, the headcanon is Gillian really like sea shanties and he didn't know what they were but then he learned what they were and he makes everyone write and listen to sea shanties and also chip is a swifty this was decided by somebody on tiktok they were like these are the take these are the taylor swift songs that everyone is um chip is anti-hero i don't remember why i remember that one specifically um, but I do, and I find it very funny that I do. Um, but I was like, wait a second, Chip is totally the type of person to be a Swifty, and to unironically convince Jay and Gillian to listen to Taylor Swift. And I full-heartedly believe that that is why the Riptide Pirates all listen to Taylor Swift. I always talk about Gillian Tidestrider oh. and Chip and how <laughs> Chip is the type of character to listen to Taylor Swift and be a Swifty and so he convinces everyone else on the Riptide Pirates to listen to Taylor Swift. Look, package. It's nice. I scribbled out everything already. It's very scribbly because I don't know what's important and what's not. No, I know, right? <laughs> like, there's so many things. I 
dude, you did not have to use this much tape. Dude, we get pet. Did you die? Oh. Yes. You died real good. And it's annoying because I actually got pretty far through this one. Okay. Well, you know, that's one way to open it. I made choking hazard! Let's go! I'm a choking hazard. No, I'm not. <laughs> Holy cow, why are you gigantic? Oh. They're so cute. I don't know if I can use these as dice because I feel like they're very off centered. Hang on, let me roll one. Seems to be rolling pretty randomly. Ready, 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 yeah. ready. Ha! Yeah, they seem pretty balanced out. Look! They got little dinos in them and little sparklies. I made you a little combat card so that combat was a lot easier for you. It has things you can do and things you can't do. You should just tell me what you want me to do. Yes, but. You have to also understand that when I am DMing, I am also controlling three other NPCs who are fighting. So you having some basis of what you need to do is a lot easier for me. Why are all of them so big except the one in the triangle? Because it's a triangle. It, I think it's because it's harder to put things in triangles. I don't think they're bigger. I think it's just the way it looks. I can't stop it. It's a really oh hot God, a speed run. This game wanted to make speedrunners before speedrunners existed. And it's bad at speedrunning. It is. This is not a game of speedrunning. I have four minutes to beat the boss. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, boo hoo, you're full. Ow. Oh, my God. But I am excited because tomorrow is DD &D and I have been waiting all week. Like, I almost have the little melody thing. I'll send you, I've, I've worked on it in the last couple of days, so it's actually, it used to only be six seconds, and that really bothered me, like, because if you don't know, a lot of d, &D podcasts have, like, a little transition music from before to when they're starting, and I really wanted to have one. I'm gonna lose a life here. And I really wanted one. But, I, I've never written a song before, so I just took what I think sounded okay, and turned it into something, which was decent, I hope. The, the, the first part you have? That's it. I'm trying to find what shop I got them from so you can show the stream, because I did show the project. Dice! Dino! Wow! Eventually, eventually, I'll probably get dice for all of my players aligned with their characters. <gasps> you can do that? Yeah. <gasps> I don't think they're resin. Are they resin? All dice are resin. It feels more plastic than resin. Yes, but sometimes resin will come out feeling differently. These ones are sparkly resin. Mm -hmm. No, they put glitter in the bottom. Okay. What? Yes. My favorite dice are platinum, not platinum, matte. I don't know why I really like them. I got them for my birthday a while ago, like a good couple, two, two or three years ago when I first started D&D. Seeing as we didn't do D&D at all last year, which was kind of sad. Very pathetic of us. <laughs> I walked right past my dad and he didn't see me at all until I came back out. No! I'm a 
pickle. Day to be eaten. I might give up on this star until next time, but I'll go do the other places. We'll see. If I can beat the boss in less than three minutes. Welcome to the speed run. Ah! bar and donuts because my brother wanted donuts and he want he want we're leaving the house even earlier tomorrow to pick up donuts from the local donut store which is a 30 minute drive from my house um so instead of leaving at like 11 30 we're leaving more around 10 10 30 because my brother wants donuts. Nothing wrong with wanting donuts. I feel like I come on here and complain about my brother a lot. I'm not trying to complain. It just sounds like that. Um. And so I had to go and get donuts today because I'm gluten free. I I don't remember whose chat I was in, but I we were talking about food and I put in yeah I'm GF because that's the shortened version of gluten free. And I can't eat those. But then, like, it didn't, because sometimes there's, like, you, this didn't get posted due to a blocked word or something. And I'm like, is it because I posted GF and that could also be short for girlfriend? That was my guess. What? It, it, oh no, sign, I don't want to talk to you. Shut up! But I've been working also on promotional stuff. Like, pretty much all of my players have character art of their characters now. Of some kind. I think everyone has at least two pieces. Except for Steve. I think I accidentally forgot to do a second one of Steve because the first one looked like Wilbur. I, I, there is, I have a curse now, chat. I have a curse now. And it is, I've labeled it the Wilbur Soot curse. It's the curse that if I am drawing your basic white dude, to me it looks like Wilbur Soot. With curly hair. Basic white dude with curly hair looks like Wilbur Soot to me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like every single time I'm watching something. I'm, I'm drawing something and I do the like slightly off the haircut. I'm like, oh wait, nope, that's not the character I was going for. That's Wilbur Soot. I had a dream last night that I don't remember going and watching a Lovejoy concert, but I was with my brother outside of a Lovejoy concert. Like we went to one, and then we were in this donut shop. Speaking of dreams, I had a dream where I got bitten with a zombie, with a zombie, by a zombie, and it kind of freaked me out because, um, I was like the second to last person to get bit, and every time somebody would get bit, because we got stuck in a car, uh, they would be like, run, with like these yellow eyes and messed up voices, and I just sat there calmly because we were stuck in a car. Um which meant no matter what I do, um, no matter what I do, I am going to die. And so I closed my eyes and put out my arm because I knew I was getting bit. There was no way to escape it. We were in a locked car, but we left the window down. So here's your reminder. 
And a zombie apocalypse, don't roll down your window. If not, you might die. I actually don't know which way I'm supposed to be going here. I had a dream last night and I don't remember it. But I know I had one because my cat woke me up so early. That doesn't make sense to other people. Whenever I'm like half awake, I have dreams. Whenever I'm like fully asleep, I don't dream. But I don't remember what it was about. And I don't remember who was in it. But it was something bizarre. Guys, I gotta go home and work on my cosplay. I can cosplay my own character in D&D yeah. really easily. That makes it so easy. Oh, so there's this new sound that's been going on around on Taxis, and it goes... <laughs> a new sound going around on TikTok, and it goes... Tax time! How much? Yes! $600. Wrong. Jail! And I really want to do that tomorrow with for... for for t for D D TikToks, um, I don't know with somebody with their dice, and I'm like, roll. I'll show you the actual sound later, but I think it's funny. Uh, ow, ow! <laughs> I tried to pop my neck, but instead I just failed. I s I have not been knitting anything. I'm actually excited for, which sucks. I've just been doing the knitted blanket, and not it's not like it's ruining how I feel about knitting. It's just, every time I want to knit something, it's wa I want to knit it a stuffed animal. But if you don't know, you have to start with double-sided uh, double needles, and those kind of suck to work with, especially when you only have four loops, four, four stitches to work with. Oh, we need to get the sparklers, okay. for you. Better. <gasps> what? Oh, ah! No, I missed it! I don't know how this stuff works. Especially because we don't like where, where the instructions. instructions. So you were looking at my hair and I forgot to say it earlier. I have like this the highlight from it, but at the same time, my hair's gotten longer and it hasn't gone away. Not really. Like, right in here. Yeah. But, I just can't tell because it was originally from when I dyed it orange. <sighs> of course I still did it. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, Mario. You're making the camera go funky. Funky goopy gunky guy. I'm just, I'm just a goopy gunky guy. I think you should watch us, because I'm a goopy gunk. I'm not actually goopy. Where am I gunky? I'm more like... What am I? I want to be a goopy gunky guy, but I'm not. I'm more of a... What is it? What? Applying, this. Applying hair dye live on stream. Look at it. Stop. 
I want to smell it. Don't put your face that close to it. Why? Because you will dye your face. Oh, boo boo. I'm not responsible for that. Ow! Feels like. Funny how your character just barely exists, but is there? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I didn't necessarily get nauseous, <laughs> but it was trying to make. Oh, stop it! Thank you. Go that way. Thank you. Go that way. Thank you. Next. Next. Thank you. I'm so. No. Mm. Mm -hmm. dancing and stimming to a song and I swung a little too hard and it fell out of the necklace and that made me really really sad because I really like that die. I really like the fact that the singular for dice is die and so every time I have to just put dice when I'm putting like captions on because I'm like like in the little caption part where you're talking about the video itself. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I put dice because die is one of those words that sometimes people censor. I don't know anymore. When I say it, I normally don't censor it, but when it's typed out, I normally will just because it's easier, I think. Um... But I found it, and it's a color-changing metal one. 
So you see how it's like this brighter red right now? I don't care if you guys actually saw, I don't care. Um, well, when it's cooler, it turns a darker red. And it had sat out there for a couple months, so I didn't think it would have that color changing power, but it did! And it made me happy. You stupid ass bunny. Why did you jump around me? Okay. Um, but I found this dice and it makes me very happy because I really like this dice. Um, hi, Bubby. I was told to say hi. Zenzi! Hello! Oh no, he, oh no, he doesn't like me. He, he, he walked away. Ooh. Okay, I need this coin, please. Thank you. Oh, 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 no, 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 you piece of shit! I'm not good at going in this game fast. I'm very bad at it, in fact. Very bad. Very, very bad. I am not good at fast. I am not good at fast. This game is not made for fast. This ma game is made for going at a decent slow pace. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Stop. Okay, this one is more palatable because all you gotta do is one, two, three, and you're up. Sparkle, star, and then, and then I, oop, 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 boom. Star, there you go, you gotta start. Beyond. Applaud for everyone. Let's do it again. So did you guys watch Gen Loss? Cause I I had a fun time watching it live. And I oh right, I was needing to tell B about it. Um oh yeah, there's a hungry Luma over there. Oh no thank you. Oh what did I just do? Hey, Ooh, okay. Mm. We'll be fine. I can't talk about this until we get back. Um, fun facts about... I was posting something. What was I posting about earlier? I posted about a lot of passing the swim test. I've passed the swim test many times in my life. Yes. Wait, do they make adults take the swim test? I wonder if adults have to take the swim test, or if that's just a child thing. Like, do they expect you as an adult to understand? Do you, as, like, do they expect you as an adult to understand if you can't swim? Um, oh, does anyone know what I was actually supposed to do? Because I didn't fully understand what I was supposed to do. Um, like, do they? I'll have to ask Pee because B, do 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 you make adults take the swim test, or do you just expect them to have the common sense? not to swim in the deep end if they would drown. Okay. I used to have to do it all the time as a child and it would annoy me because I knew I could swim. Yeah, I don't think we really do a swim test anymore, which is unfortunate. Because... Because you get kids who can't swim go down the slide. Mm. You are in my space. You all have right. scooted. There was empty space and it felt wrong. I, don't, I, I wasn't paying attention to what I was supposed to do. I was talking. Oh, so I need to tell you about my reaction to the generals. 
the lost ending. Um, so I was watching Generation Lost, and I was in the living room, and he just, it just ended. And I'm like, what just happened? And most of the time, I'll be crying, because, oh my gosh, that's kind of sad. But I, I, what, uh... Taking a test right now, so it's going to turn into a Minecraft or a golden shell. Golden shell. Where am I supposed to go? My friend, you didn't tell me what I'm supposed to do. Could you please? <laughs> Excuse me, friend, do you know where we're supposed to be? The teacher didn't. Oh! Oh! You! Give me the golden shell! No! I have a handicap! I am human! You are bird fish! Penguin? Uh, drowning! Where did it go? Where did it go? I'm going to eat you! I don't actually think penguin tastes good. It's probably kind of gamey and... Ooh, 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 I got it. No! I destroyed it. Why did I destroy it? I caught it and I threw it and I failed. I could have been done with this. Oh my gosh. No! I actually think I can get through this game quicker than I was expecting to. Oh boy, no, don't go at the edge. Okay, you get back to the teacher. Teacher. The teacher teaches us a lot of things. Ah, uh, teacher, I found the shell. Yay! I got a gold star. I was the best student.
pickles do not belong with ice cream. And I ma I made brownies the other day, but I did I don't, I don't like brownies. So instead, I added an extra egg to make them more cake-like. had a good day so far. Ooh, pickles. I don't know why pickles are stuck in my head. It's just not worth doing. Okay, fine. Oh, there we go. Oh well, we're ending it out. Okay, bye. 